Rod Stewart is a larrikin who was born to perform. In his 50-year career, he sold over 200 million albums and had dozens of top 40 hits around the world. He's even got a knighthood. Here we go, then. Here we go. I'm a bit confused, actually. Why is that? Well, and how to address you. Oh, it's Rod. It's just old, yeah, good it's, old Rod. It's Rod. Not so much of the old. It's Rod, it'll be fine. So it's not Sir Roderick? No, no, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> I can't think of anybody that calls me Sir Rod. Someone Sitting in the middle of Rod Stewart's man cave... Grab your coat and get your hat. It's easy to see that at 73, Rocking Rod is nowhere near retiring. It kind of looks like you're, you're going, oh, all my knees, all my knees. It looks like I actually am going all knees. Instead, Rod says he's using the long years on the road to help him write songs for his 30th studio album, Blood Red Roses. I'm a survivor and I'm still doing it. Where do you drag the inspiration from? Uh, age, honesty. The older you get, the more you've got to write about. Because I'm getting older, I can't sing or write songs like you think I'm sexy or Hot Legs or any of those raunchy songs anymore, because that would be dishonest. I love your honey. But he still gives the raunch factor a good push on stage, even if he's poking fun at himself. You told Rolling Stone, I don't want to be singing. Do you, <laughs> yeah. do you think cool. I'm sexy? Yeah. At 50? Yeah. Because I'll be a parody of myself. Exactly right. And guess what I do now? When I'm doing a show, I put that headline behind me. Do you? Yeah, I do. Because everything changes. Just take the pee out of yourself. Yeah, I take the pee out of myself. I think that's the one thing I love about the British and the Australians too. Because uh, we're, we're good like that. We manage to laugh at ourselves. And on that one, I do have to laugh at myself. Well, you're allowed to be a sexy grandfather, aren't you? Certainly.